your pocket and my pocket. So it's, it's that. But I think in terms of the recession, of course you feel it when you're president of the United States. And that's why I'm trying to do something about it by stimulating the export, investing more, better education systems. Thank Governor you. I'm glad to clarify. Tell me how it's affected you again. Um, you know people who've lost their well, jobs, yeah. lost their homes. Uh -huh. Well, I've been governor of a small state for 12 years. I'll tell you how it's affected me. Every year, Congress and the President sign laws that makes us, make us do more things and gives us less money to do it with. I see people in my state, middle class people, their taxes have gone up in Washington and their services have gone down while the wealthy have gotten tax cuts. I, I have seen what's happened in this last four years when, in my state, when people lose their jobs, there's a good chance I'll know them by their names. When a factory closes, I know the people who ran it. When the businesses go bankrupt, I know them. And I've been out here for 13 months, meeting in meetings just like this, ever since October, with people like you all over America. People that have lost their jobs, lost their livelihood, lost their health insurance. Mm -hmm. What I want you to understand is the national debt is not the only cause of that. It is because America has not invested in its people. It is because we have not grown. It is because we've had 12 years of trickle-down economics. We've gone from first to 12th in the world in wages. We've had four years where we produced no private sector jobs. Most people are working harder for less money than they were making 10 years ago. It is because we are in the grip of a failed economic theory. And this decision you're about to make better be about what kind of economic theory you want. Not just people saying, I'm going to go fix it, but what are we going to do? What I think we have to do is invest in American jobs, American education, control American health care costs, and bring the American people together again.